In this video, I'm demonstrating a release for an elevated first rib, which can be quite painful, and the release itself can be quite painful as well. Uh, you will see my stoic model, Jason, manages to not grimace the whole way through. It's also a good release for a supraspinatus tendonitis, which is a, the muscle just at the top of the shoulder blade, and also for upper traps uh, and the upper shoulder tightness, which is very common. So this is how it goes. You'll need to sit against a wall with your back up against the wall and then you're the person you're helping lying in front of you. So if you as the helper place your feet onto the person who you're helping's shoulders, then lift up into my feet and release just come up a little bit more so you're creating a little bit of traction into the shoulders lift up into my feet release so they need to put some weight into their feet just so that they're not sliding forward and you'll see we've, we're here on a sticky mat I'm against a wall so that I'm not sliding backwards then we'll do one shoulder at a time so lift your right shoulder up into my foot release so I'm not letting that shoulder go very far one more time lift the shoulder up into my foot release so that's known as a contract release with the muscle in a stretched position Let's do the left side, lift your shoulder up into my foot, release. Again, lift your shoulder up into my foot, release. So that's just the warm up. Then we're gonna take a couple of balls. I've just got a couple of bouncy balls here, which you can get at any toy store. And we're gonna place the balls right into the top of the shoulder muscles. So underneath the collarbone. You've got the collarbone at the front and then the ball goes behind that, below that. Then you as the helper put your heels onto the balls. So your feet are right close to their head. Press downwards so they're creating a bit of traction again and pressure into those upper shoulder muscles. Then ask the person you're working with now to take their arms down. Slowly lift your arms up into the air. Keep breathing. And there you go, just as far as they comfortably can. And the whole time I'm keeping pressure on those shoulders. And then slowly come back again. Pause with the arms vertical and then come down and then release the pressure slowly off the shoulders. Just come up a little bit again. And then we'll make a little bit harder this time with these massage balls. They have a little valve in them. We're going to do the same thing. So as the helper, you've got your foot into the ball which sits just behind the collarbone so the very top of the shoulder and then again I create a little bit of pressure into those muscles you have to make sure that you've got good pressure there so that you're not going to slide off the ball bring your arms to the side then slowly lift your arms up to the vertical position So as I said earlier, this is particularly good for elevated first rib because it gives a gentle pressure down into that first driven rib and can really relieve some of the symptoms that that creates. Like I said, pain into the chest, pain into the armpit, pain down the side of the rib cage. Bring your arms a little further back. And then slowly taking them down again. 
release. Slowly releasing the pressure from the balls. And then just to finish, do one more traction just with your feet without the balls. So, and shrug your shoulders up into my feet. Release. So you'll notice there's very little movement of the shoulders there. So I'm creating resistance with my feet. Lift up into my feet. Release. These muscles are very strong, so you can put quite a bit of pressure onto them. One more time, lift up into my feet. Release. And release. So that's a little series of exercises for releasing pain into the arm, which is a result of elevated first rib or tightness in the upper part of the shoulder. Thank you. Namaste.